Holy mamacita, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So the servers have just came back online maybe about nine minutes ago. So I wanted to have a fresh look at the Chase the Storm event and see what kind of goodies they have for us in store to push our characters from 1600 all the way to 1620. Are we going to be disappointed or are we going to be juiced up with materials? Let's take a look. So the first thing I wanted to take a look at is the login rewards. I already claimed mine, so the first one is silver and uh, shards, which are always welcome. Uh, the first thing I can notice, though, is, you know, honing materials, but it gives us fusion materials. And what do you know? We now have options to get Oreha fusion and superior Oreha fusion materials in these chests. So they are listening. So I'm really happy about that. So awesome. We're off to a great start with uh oreha fusion materials they also got us books so on the day 10 you will be and day 11 you will be able to have access to books i believe is there books here too nope nothing here but there is chaos dungeon brew that you want to save for tier 4 make sure you check that video out as well but other than that you know mostly the same stuff pony materials card packs is this a legendary select no it's not so unfortunately not a select pack but it's all good Login rewards are just to motivate you to log in every day. It's not going to give you the insane rewards. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the previous video when I was doing the patch notes review was the Twitter post. And on that, they gave us a update gift where it gave you, you know, silver, which we all love. Legendary elixir supply chest, which is amazing. You get to you get elixirs more comfortably by using only silver and not gold. Chaos Dungeon Brew, you want to save those for Tier 4 as well. So we're getting loaded up on these recovery brews. Awesome. Cubes, you also want to save for Tier 4. If you're wondering why I keep saying Tier 4, Tier 4, save for Tier 4, again, make sure you check that video. Do this before Tier 4. Uh, other than that, Restoration Tickets. So, ooh, nice. We got 10x of the Weapon Restoration Tickets. That's for Behemoth. And we have X5 for the uh, Transcendence armor tickets that we originally had so this is just the gift so already off the bat really really good start the next thing we're going to take a look at is the event shop so the arctoberfest event shop is the new thing that came out chaos dungeon purification event and summer festival were both out already and they have been extended actually i don't know why this one says d14 it should both be d28 according to the patch notes but that's besides the point Let's see what they have for us for the Arctober event shop. So they got Fions, so you can buy your accessories better. Relic rocks better. Whatever you need. Very nice. Shards. Holy mama. 250 shard pouches. All right. I mean, we'll take, we'll take those. We'll take those. Let's see here. 250 radiant leap stones. That's a little... Not a lot. So... Already off the bat for a veteran player, this is not good for a veteran player. But for newer players, this is really good news who need to use Great Honor Leap Stones or Marvelous Leap Stones. You're going to get a ton of Leap Stones just from this event. We got uh, Destruction. Uh, what is this? Protection. Obliteration Protection. We got some Honing Supports. All those who have uh, advanced honing to do. Nice for this. Uh, if you're a new and returning player, do not use these yet until you get to a later stage of your weapon or you want to juice it up for a higher chance. We got a bunch of books here. Let's look at the most recent ones. So they give us five of the weapon and five. Oh, no, 15. There we go. X3. The so five of the weapon and 15 of the armor. So it's all right. Like it's not groundbreaking, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, rapport is always nice. Age power is always nice. All this stuff is really nice and what is usually given to us. But okay, the important part is this special tab. So using this special October token, you get to access these rewards. So already off the bat, all my fellow people who only needed one more card for LOS 30, congratulations. You get a legendary card selection pack from this. Oreha Fusion Materials, you get two of these. And beautiful. Look at this. Again, it gives you superior and orejas. But then for a prime, it gives you a total of a thousand extra fusion materials. That is definitely necessary. 
because oh my goodness i think here there was no fusion materials right yeah there was nothing here so that is amazing 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 and if you haven't oh wait did they reset the summer festival shop okay wait we'll take we'll take a look at that later okay so special let's keep going we got elixirs so we got 15 free legendary elixirs in addition so surely you will be able to get 40 set right like this system is totally legit so with all these legend free legendary elixirs that we're getting surely we can all get 40 set on top of that we get some uh, an extra five tickets of restoration always will take that a hundred dark fires beautiful i needed that on my shadow hunter i just pushed this to 1610 very recently so i only have 17 dark fires so i will definitely take this uh other than that all right that's it so off the bat Oktoberfest event shop is beautiful chaos dungeon is the same so if you haven't done this yet keep on doing your chaos dungeons and redeeming your tokens that uh, uh i feel like they should have brought uh silver here though because look i have 6910 i feel like they should definitely should have brought some silver in here but i believe for the event shop so they completely refreshed it i guess i don't know if this was a glitch or this was intended but i would take advantage of this hurry 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 i don't know if this was uh actually intended so if you haven't already make sure you redeem all these rewards before it goes offline and they kind of notice that they accidentally refreshed all this especially the fusion materials make sure you get the fusion materials notice how this one doesn't have the basic oreja fusion materials in it uh but yeah other than that yeah they completely reset the entire event shop i don't know if that's real so if you haven't already make sure you do this immediately redeem everything as fast as possible and i notice here they added the silver but don't do this one yet make sure you redeem everything else first because uh yeah look at this this one not reset this one not reset like i didn't uh, actually this was reset okay this is a weekly roster limit so that that's why but this one is not this these are roster limit so hurry up and take advantage of this other than that let's move on to the event the actual chase the storm event so there's going to be two sections here about honing where if you hone your akon weapon and akon armor you get some rewards you get some books and you get some gold but they are bound so that's really interesting i guess uh i don't know the decision behind that but okay fine let's see how much gold you actually get so you get a thousand gold for each gold bar you get six of these so that's six thousand gold there's a uh, four here so that's 24 plus two is 26 and i'm assuming it's the same thing here yes so that's a total of fifty-two thousand gold of bound gold that you can use for your homes now i'm gonna say i'm a little disappointed because this is definitely not going to help you it's going to help you but it's not the kind of event that i was hoping for to push from 1600 to 1620 keep in mind the honing cost raw is around 450,000 gold or so raw that's that means that is not including all the other materials if you need to buy more materials and fusion materials especially because let's be honest here that amount that they gave us for free isn't enough you still need at least like five thousand more so with that being said it's gonna cost a crap load more than 52k now do i appreciate them to actually try to do something to get us an extra little jump to push to 1620 sure but they kind of advertise this as a, a surefire way of you know boosting your way to 1620 to actually reach behemoth it's okay though i feel like this is a good start but i feel like they should have put a little bit more thought into this but i will say it's really nice that the amount of books that they give you it does kind of make up for it so we'll see i'm going to post another video about me honing on my shadow hunter using my 850,000 gold for the chase the storm event and see how much gold it actually takes other than that if you clear ivory tower you get some more legendary elixirs so they're just pouring legendary elixirs at us so make sure you do your ivory towers it, it's it looks like you can do normal or hard and you will get these chests so i expect everybody to get easy 40 set here and they mine 
you get some extra fires. So yes, I on top of the 100, I still need more. So thankfully for my Shadow Hunter, you know, you also get restoration tickets here. 30 of them actually. So that's really nice. This is going to be a very, very cheap way of doing your transcendence and your elixirs. This is an amazing start, but I will make a video on honing my Shadow Hunter. So subscribe if you want to watch this. Anyway, that is the end of this, I guess. Yeah, that, that's about it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.